our beliefs and understanding of love, as we've mentioned, start being created when we're children. And we're taking Mm -hmm. in what we're seeing as love based on our parents' relationships and people around us. And we're formulating all these ideas on how we get love, how we're supposed to give it, what is it supposed to feel like, all of this. And again, it's an old operating system. So we've taken on all this stuff in an early age that no longer is applicable to the engagement that we're having with another person at this stage in our lives. I talk about four different type of personalities, the needer, the giver, the taker, and the allower. Now you talked about your story with Wayne. I would have said that you were mm-hmm. probably an allower. <laughs> yes. 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 Yep. And um, I was a bit of a needer and a an allower also because I always felt that I needed love. In order to be worthwhile, I needed to have love. I needed that adoration, that that recognition from another human being. And we all have these little quirky profiles that are really very specific to how we engage in relationships. The problem is they're all outdated. They're based on fulfilling voids within ourselves in some way and Mm -hmm. they're they're patterns that we repeat and if you look at relationships your relationship history you're going to see a thread yeah and that's what women need to understand you know lots of times they they break up they go out they meet somebody new and it's a repeat of what they just came from and they're saying Why is this happening to me again? It's because you're still working with the same lenses that you had from the previous relationship. You've made no changes to how you Mm -hmm. engage with love. Yes. 